at Cambridge, the uni of Isaac Newton, Tom Hiddleston and Hugh Bonneville, and now me, Iman. I've spent six years of my life at Cambridge, which is a sixth of my life to be exact, but probably half of the life that I can actually remember. So safe to say, I've got some good memories here. So come along, we're gonna explore them year by year. So let's get nostalgic. <laughs> This does not feel safe at all, at all. <laughs> So this is the old court of, of Corpus and it's where I spent a lot of my first three years here. Um, brings back a lot of good memories and it's just such a beautiful place as well. Looking back at the fresher Iman just makes me like so sad to look back at her because I was just such a timid young girl and I remember on my first day I was just full of butterflies and the first day was just so busy because I had to meet everybody who was also a fresher and then we had matriculation on the same day and matriculation is basically where you basically just sign a book to say that you're part of the college and it's pretty cool because all of the alumni from the college are like also in that book as well and then I had matriculation dinner which was quite an interesting experience because I didn't realise until then how much alcohol is associated with Cambridge so I remember that there was just unlimited wine and then I didn't even realize it but there was like wine in my tofu because I got the vegetarian option and then I don't drink either so I couldn't recognize the fact that it was wine so I just kept eating it but then also feeling really sick at the same time and then I had to and then at matriculation you have to talk to your supervisors who um, my supervisors a lot of them are, are like old white men basically and so that was an interesting experience having to create conversation with them and also eat this really nasty food at the same time. <laughs> This is where I lived for my first two years. Come on. This just brings so many memories, like especially as a fresher when I was so lost, but then particularly in second year, I was definitely finding my feet a bit more. I wouldn't say that I found my feet totally by then. I wasn't your average Cambridge student, like I didn't have a blue, I didn't go to like bops. I wasn't like super popular in college or anything like that. But you know, I had my small group of friends and we would have fun and I would come to this you know, really dark accommodation where I had like four different lamps in my room to brighten up the day. And you know, I had a lot of fun, um, despite the fact I was like behind a pub. So like every morning at 5 a.m. I could hear like the barrels of whatever it is, barrels of beer or something, like what do they have in a pub? Um, come in every morning, um, which was not great when it came to exam season, but it just is what it is. Also, just to clarify, the colleges, so like Corpus, is basically where you live for your first three years or your undergraduate degree. And it's basically where your accommodation is, where you make most of your friends and also where your supervisions are. So you have something called a director of studies and you have these different fellows of the college that supervise you in your different modules that you're going, that you're studying. And so the college is basically where like your university experience is and then Besides being in a college, you're also in a course, right? So I was doing the MVST medical course. And so that meant that I then had like lectures and practicals like in different areas of the university. And then in your clinical years, so in my fourth, fifth and sixth year, you're not really, you're still part of the college. So I was able to like live at Leckhampton, um, which I'll show you in a bit, but I decided to live um, near the hospital. Um, but you're not like living in the college site so you're a bit more out of town. Living in college is like a great experience it's like you're, you're in like a little bubble everyone says that you're in a Cambridge bubble which is super super fun because you just feel like this classic student just like going about your day like forgetting that you have any real responsibilities and now I'm super sad because I actually have adult post-grad responsibilities. <laughs> so 
So here is Sidrick's site, which is where I had most of my lectures in first and second year. I would just be completely lost in the lecture, I'd have no idea what happened, and everybody would like scurry outside, and we'd just all chat to each other about what's been going on in the week. And then in between lectures, people would go to the library. I would tend to go to the law library, which is like over there. And then um, funnily enough, I actually had my sixth year exams here as well. So my final exams, I had right over there in that lecture block. So yeah. This brings back some not that nice memories, but I guess it's a bit nostalgic. Sidrick site is actually a really popular place in Cambridge for lots of different students. It's got the arts section, it's got like the economics section, it's got like the history section, and it's got loads of different libraries attached. And the ISOC prayer room is also here as well, which is quite convenient. So this is where I spent basically my whole of my third year at uni, which I think was probably my favourite year. So I was actually on the main site of college in this core and I lived like right there, which was so convenient because it was like right next to the bar and then the library was over there as well. So then I would just wake up and then either go to the library, get a coffee from the bar, hang out with people in the bar. And then because Corpus is like right in the centre of Cambridge, like me and my friends, we just go do random stuff. And I just remember it being so much fun, especially because of like where my room was. And then also in third year, I decided to be PAXOP president um, for the University of Cambridge Pakistan Society and as part of that we organised like a um, ball basically, PAXOP ball and that was just so much fun. I remember like at 5am we would like, we cleared out the room and went from the main hall to like my room. It was just a madness and I was like fully dressed up in my Asian outfit as well and um, I just made some really great memories with uh, my friends at Impact Salt. So third year, I think overall, I would give it a 10 out of 10. So third year was also the year that you intercalate, oh. <laughs> so third year is also the year that you intercalate um, in medicine as well. So you have just like a few different topics you can choose from and I specifically chose PDN, which is Physi Physiology Development and Neuroscience and it was actually really interesting and I decided to do a research project as well during that time which made me kind of like research and made me realise that maybe it's something that I want to do and I graduated right here in Senate House which was like an amazing day for anybody who graduates at Cambridge it was just super super fun So this is basically the sciences block in Cambridge which is like full of like where natural sciences students go, also medics and vets and like geography students as well. And so this is where I had a lot of my dissection and different lectures, anatomy lectures. And also particularly in third year when I did PDN, I was here like all the time. This is where I did my research project. And I decided I liked it so much that I ended up doing a summer job in research as well. And that was just so much fun because I was literally here like every day and getting paid for it and it was my first experience of having like a summer job before then I didn't really think about like what internships to do I think I was like too lost in first and second year to think about any of that sort of stuff but I think third year I started finding my feet a bit and just getting the hang of everything so I decided why not do something over summer and it was it was a really big like growing experience for me because I got to like stay away from home for the summer experience Cambridge like outside of uni term and just enjoy it and see whether or not I liked it and like that kind of opened up a lot of doors for me. Also FYI guys this man in the bin sings every single weekend and my room was just opposite him and he used to just wake me up every single Saturday and Sunday morning. He's just complete trash, straight trash. So fourth year was just like it was just like being a fresher again to be honest and it was great just finally being in a hospital because I think having preclinical years you just kind of lose the plot a bit because there's so many like lectures um, but then having the clinical experience just makes you realize why you're studying medicine and makes you feel a bit more like a doctor as a student doctor but not you're not a full doctor yet so i was on placement in fourth year in ipswich fifth year in bedford and sixth year in peterborough it is actually so much fun so even though you're not spending your whole year in cambridge because of the fact you're on placement with these different medics that you become really good friends with so some of my closest friends are some of the friends i've made on placement and the new friends that i've been living in the house with as well there's this like level of understanding that you're a bit clueless in what you're doing and you're pretending 
to try and be like a student doctor in the hospital but you're just like you're constantly learning and you're constantly making mistakes and you're kind of learning through making mistakes if that makes sense. Mm. This is good, this is good, Jack's delight. So in fifth year I decided to be more in the town centre because I kind of missed it because in fourth year I was more like near the hospital or in Ipswich to be honest for most of the time. Even though that was fun I did kind of miss like the pretty side of Cambridge so in fifth year I became a supervisor and I taught human reproduction to the second years because in my third year I developed quite a bit of an interest for like development and like embryology kind of thing so I thought it'd be quite nice to teach and that's I still do that to be honest and it's really quite fun I do enjoy the teaching and it meant that I could come back to the centre and I think by fifth year um, I did definitely find my feet in terms of the clinical side but I was a bit more stressed because I definitely think fifth year and second year they were by far the most stressful years because of the exams that we had I think they were pretty much the hardest so the beginning of fifth year was quite fun but then the end of it it got quite stressful to be honest and in fifth year I really thought that I would have worked out what I wanted to do by then in terms of like specialties wise but I still hadn't um, but because I had this interest in development and I kind of like Obzengaini, like women's health, I decided to do my elective at the end of that year in Obzengaini and I did it in Pakistan, which was an incredible experience. I think if anybody's thinking about doing an elective, definitely think about doing it in a developing country because, oh my gosh, you will see things that you've never seen before and hopefully you will never see again. I'm gonna eat my ice cream now. <laughs> So we're at Leckhampton, which is the Corpus Graduate Accommodation. It's super, super pretty. There's like huge gardens and there's even a pool here, which opens up in the Easter term. And every like year, the Medical Society does a Corpus Garden Party here, which is really fun. And so I would say in particular sixth year, sixth year, I mean, like what even was that year? It, it, my anxiety levels were like through the roof in sixth year because I was so stressed about like where I would end up getting my job and at the same time as doing my FPAS and AFP applications I was also dealing with like my final exams that were happening in December and so because it was all happening at the same time it was like quite stressful. I had my GP placement in Stamford which is quite close to Cambridge it's like quite a posh place but I ended up going to the Burley horse trials there with the medic team that was super super fun something that I've never experienced before and I actually had one of the most inspiring talks by one of the GPs there, so the lead medic of the Burley Horse Trials, he gave this talk that was, it basically said like, after you graduate medicine, you have about 40 years of your career left. So what's the rush? Like do what you want to do and define success to what you want to be your career to be. And that's when it hit me. I was like, gosh, yeah, like what is the rush? Like why do I have to rush to like, I want this job, I want that job. I want to do this, I want to work here, like it, it really doesn't matter, like I have 40 years to like do what I want to do and plus I don't even know what I want to do so looking back I didn't really have much to stress about, I shouldn't have stressed that much about it but you know in the end thankfully I got a job that I'm quite happy with um, and I am enjoying it so far and besides that like after exams finished and after I had my interviews it, it, like corona hit and we hardly got much time to celebrate and um, uni told us that our OSCE so the second half of our finals got cancelled and like that was it we had to leave so I feel like the ending of Cambridge was kind of taken away from me which is make, which makes me a bit more sad I think that's why I'm feeling so sad about leaving and like I keep coming back here because I feel like I didn't have like a proper ending like I didn't have graduation I didn't have a grad ball I didn't get to like say goodbye to the things or the people I wanted to it was all kind of rushed which it just makes me so sad but I guess that's just life <laughs> So that's it, that's my six years at Cambridge. There's been a lot of ups and downs, but in the end, I did qualify as a doctor and I think it just holds some fond memories for me. I'm really gonna miss it and I don't wanna say goodbye, but all good things must come to an end. So bye Cambridge, you've been good to me and 
I'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like, leave it a little comment as well, and tell me what do you feel nostalgic about? And do you miss any big eras um, that have like literally ended in your life, just like uni for me? Let me know what video you want to see next, and thanks so much for watching. Bye. <laughs> oh, we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit it, we're gonna hit it. I think we've got the hang of this now.